load of barley getting loaded. Quick change of plan, this is 14%, so it won't roll very well for cows, so I'm gonna tip this in this shed and then load up with something that's about 16% and it'll roll better. Andrew, doing a good job as always. A few people were moaning yesterday, saying how he wasn't very good behind the combine, but and everyone's done it. See how dry it is, I was just flown down the trail. It's a bit unfair yesterday, some of people's comments, because Andrew just built some grain. I mean, I make these videos every day. You can say what you want to me, I'm not really asked, it's just water off a duck's back. But you know, don't have a go at my staff because if that's the case, I'll just have to stop filming them and it won't make it as interesting. But yeah, anyone that's had a go at him for spilling the grain, you know, get a life. We've got some sunflowers coming out. Still not particularly high, not enough to get lost in. Definitely coming on. Some over there, well, yeah. Not even 1% of them out yet. So hopefully in a week's time, they'll all be out and also they'll be a good six inches higher and we'll have a chance of doing a maze. Checking the straw in this field, it's now fit to bale. Found someone's come through the hedge overnight. So now I've got a big hole in the hedge. Cheers for that. Quick project, barn rebuild. It's taking shape now, so the front's going up. It's matching really nice. I think it looks great. So it's just got to come across the top back down here and then there's obviously more down this side to do. But yeah, it looks brilliant. The back's all finished now. Zoom out a bit, there you go. And the soffit's on, so it looks great. Just need to find the door handle for that door. I'm making a row of straw on the yard, sorry, a row of wood chip on the yard now, because while we've got the baler on, we're just gonna try baling some wood chip, see if it holds together. Does it make it easier for storing it? Let's see if this works anyway. And it's off. John Neal, draw a bar on that into a smaller row. Whether it picks it up properly. together but yeah it would be better of a round bell in there it's adam's birthday he's 24 and it's mcdonald's friday so 36 pound later we got roadworks that way out the gate and now we've got roadworks that way out the gate the other end of the road and apparently there's a wagon can't fit through and we're just about to go that way with the combine and the header and tractors and trailers all day so why have they decided to do roadworks there when they're doing roadworks still over there i don't know I anyway, Adam's going to go down the tractor because he's going that way anyway and he's going to tell him to make the cones wider and that we're on our way, so hopefully he can sort that. Andrew's got his road train on, just need to find his number plate. Last of the crush getting screened to make pipe bedding and MOT. Stuck at another set of roadworks that we can't fit through. We've already gone round one set. Fair play to the roadwork lads, they've uh, moved the cones for us see properly so we can just drive across the trench because we're not big enough wheels I think the trench there is too far wide the tracks don't even feel it from the back axle there. that was an eventful journey we're just going down towards the shore now Joe and, Ant, uh, Joe and Bill have been cutting the trees so that we can get the combine down because the branches are overgrown we couldn't go out the gateway the way we wanted. We had to go all the way around the block down a single track road that's really narrow. So we had to block that and get through. And then temporary traffic lights. 
then we got to the other temporary traffic lights and we couldn't we couldn't turn right because they got like a chicane in that we were never going to fit around especially Andrew because he's got two trailers on the back and the combine wouldn't have done so we had to drive over a trench that was two foot wide that was rough they had an early rolled over then we then had to move some cones then we got to two double parked cars so we had to squeeze through with like that much to spare on the tyres on the back of the combine and the tracks and then now we've got here and we're just moving these branches so that we can get to the field there's and there's Joe and there's Andrew behind and there's Bill in front with the telly handler another field of barley now no volunteer wheat which is nice to see and also a nice yield as well so it's ranging sort of from about 4.7 it's 4.8 it obviously might not average that but it's not bad on the headland anyway and the geese did eat over there sam's just pulling underneath there now you can see i've got the auger folded out and then i have to sort of fold it back in a bit and it just kind of like skims in to the trailer Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. It clamps on with this clamp and fits over these little holes and it kind of uh, fell off. That's better now, back on. Nice view again. Back in business now. At least it uh, doesn't rip when it falls off like the last one did last year. That is the fertiliser plant. CF. It's better. Four and a half ton. Just jumped off to get a video. Because obviously the videos that are taken normally in the cab, the bill's just driving it for a second. If you look now, you'll see. So it's going to come along, the knife's going to cut it, the reel's going to knock it onto the belts. Take it to the middle, the combine's going to thrash it, put the grain in the tank on the top, there you go, that's it, thrash, popping it down, now the drop it into the middle, hardly any dust because there's no auger, into the combine, pump, thrashes it, grain lands in the tank, by the time the combine gets to where that that we've just seen put, it's now falling out the back of straw pretty much, and the chaff and the dust are blown out by the chaff spreaders, we go over to this now, You'll see. Um, gonna find a head. Ready? Can't find one. There you go. See how it stripped all the barley off, off itself. Won't focus, will it? So much dust. So that's that's what it did look like, and that's what it looks like now. So it's thrashed the barley off. It's not it doesn't want to focus, does it? There we go. Must be dust on the lens. Right, I better run and catch up and empty into the trailer. Gordon's here now with the trailer. Put the camera on in case Sam spills any. He's next to the trailer's too long again. Oh, he's slowed down. If he maintains the speed now, then I'll just top him up. Oh, he's doing a Clarkson. Or an Andrew.
As you know, I'm on one of my favourite fields. Anyway, we've got a little bit left, the bit that the geese set, so it's a little bit behind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock off in sort of like when I get to the end of the field now, because Scania are coming doing a photo shoot for their calendar on Monday. So we're gonna bale the straw because we're gonna be emptying from the combine into a trailer, sorry, into a Scania trailer, one of TJ's wagons. So the wagon obviously won't fit over the row of straw. So if we bale the straw up to it, then we can come along and empty into it and kind of get a nice picture with that backdrop is the plan. We're gonna fit. Still a long way to go, you know, Joe. Have a look how close he's got to the wall. How close did you get to the wall? You wouldn't have done it with a pallet for Tom, would you? 75 foot. This was the roadworks we struggled to fit through before, and I'll show you why now. It's like a proper S bend. We had to bounce over that trench underneath where that digger is. Yeah, well that's bad, isn't it? You could, oh. A car could lose its wheel down there. These roadworks have been put up now all weekend, ready for the Scottish Power to do something on Monday. Why they couldn't put them up on Monday, they go all up Monday morning, I don't know. Some have already had a bit of a casualty. Um, but we can't get the combine through. First load of straw, 2021 coming back. James on the 7.5, feeling alive. Before I forget, just realised as I'm editing, no quiz question today, but there is because what's the weather been like for you today? It's been glorious here. So what's yours been like and where do you live? Because I believe Germany's had floods and some parts of Canada are still red hot. So let me know where you're watching from, whether it's the UK or wherever and what the, what the, um, the weather's been, please. Sam only put half a load on, so we dropped the ramps to put the rest on. Come on. That's it, I'll do. Put the ramps back up. Right, go on, push it now. Go on, go on. I'm trying to get Sam to grasp how to bind it in. Go on, go on. Go on, keep going. Four foot, four foot, four foot. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, a little bit. Right, leave that there now, then put two either side and one on the front. One load of straw getting weighed. Another one weighed, ready to go. They're just off now to deliver that straw. I'm gonna go and load some in the field. James is up there now loading a wagon. Someone who watches videos has actually bought some. So pretty much everything we bell today has now been sold and is off. So that's pretty good and people are paying what it's worth, which is even better. So anyway, another video over there. Subscribe over there. There's Adam, happy birthday. Working till 11 o'clock on his birthday because he's a star. I'll see you later. I say 11 o'clock because by the time they've got there unloaded and got back, that's what time it'll be. Anyway, also as well, it's Tanner Horsley's birthday yesterday, Horley's birthday yesterday. Don't know how you say it. Anyway, so happy birthday to him as well. Uh, and here's an outro from Austria.